acne. It's something almost all of us have to deal with at some point, but why does it exist? Hey guys, Terry here for DNews, and today I want to talk about acne, not about what it is or how to get rid of it. I want to talk about the purpose behind acne, the real evolutionary reason as to why so many humans suffer from it. Is there even a reason? I mean, it can't do anything good, right? It just makes our lives miserable. So why do we get it? Well, believe it or not, there's still a whole lot about acne that we just don't know, but there are a handful of theories out there that seek to explain why it's such a common problem. One theory proposed by evolutionary biologist Stephen Kellett and Paul Gibbert is that acne evolved because humans lost our body fur too quickly for our skin to keep up. According to them, our skin's sebaceous glands, which are at one point almost entirely covered in fur, haven't evolved at the same pace at which we lost our fur. So as a result, all of the sebum that once existed in order to lubricate our fur has no more fur to lubricate, so now it just clogs our pores instead. That is one explanation, but another study published in 2004 theorizes that the time frame of acne, the fact that it's most prevalent during puberty, suggests that it plays a role in sexual selection. They refer to acne as a high-order psychoneuroimmune interaction that functions to ward off potential mates until a person is past the age of reproductive maturity and thus emotionally, intellectually, and physically fit to be a parent, which makes perfect sense but then why do some adults still get acne? Are they just unfit parents? Of course not. I mean, maybe, I don't know. But both of those theories could explain why humans adapted to have acne. Other arguments say that acne may not be an adaptation at all, but rather a product of our lifestyle. Diet, for example, has been shown to have an effect on our skin, and the fact that the human diet in particular has changed so drastically over the span of our existence means that modern agriculture could be the culprit. Specifically, dairy and grains, both of which have been linked to increased levels of acne. There was an interesting study about this back in 2005 where they talked about tribal people from Canada and Japan who broke out after being introduced to dairy. In a similar story about Aborigines from Paraguay and Papua New Guinea that ate almost no complex carbs and likewise had no history of acne. There could be a lot of reasons for that though, one of which is the basis for another major lifestyle theory, which is that we simply wash our faces too much. This is definitely one of the more experimental suggestions, given that there isn't a whole lot of data out there to back it up, but it does make sense. Early humans almost never bathed, but now we live in an age where it's considered hygienic to wash our faces twice a day. And by constantly removing the surface oil from our faces, it's possible that we're actually inducing the opposite effect. We're sending our oil glands into overproduction, resulting in even more oil than what's normal. Again, most of this is pure conjecture, but anecdotally, I will say that I have a friend who has never washed his face ever, doesn't even get it wet in the shower, and he has perfect skin, never had a pimple in his life, which is probably more due to genetics than anything else, but still, food for thought. What do you guys think? Have you suffered from acne? And if so, what did you do to fix it, if you even have? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thank you guys for watching.